Ah. So I put some paper in here so it'll stand up. I really hope someone's sitting behind me tonight. Hey, look, it's my Pexecution shirt. And layers, which I don't need because it's a friggin' heat wave outside. Currently 5.33 p.m. and 39 degrees, and it was 42 today. Over 40 is shorts weather. But not really, because it's cold, because there's a lot of snow out there. Thankfully, less snow, and just enough sun to hopefully melt. They call it uh, washboard ice. I'm going to close my door. Yes, I forgot to close my door. Anyway, that compressed, compacted stuff that you can't drive on, and you just and you think your tires are going to just fall off, and it's not good for starting and stopping, and it makes driving miserable. That's what the last two days have been like. But at least today, with the sunlight, they'll at least be taken care of on the major roads. Not so much on the less traveled roads. The worst part of my commute, this is probably true for every Minnesotan, but for those of you not in Minnesota, it's just another slice of life for you to think about. The worst part of the commute is the part between my back alley and that street and the next street, because those are like really minor streets that nobody's on. And then by the time you finally get to the main intersection and everybody's starting to drop all the snow off that they've collected on the way, it doesn't help that we kind of live in a hilly kind of place. And there are certain areas where you're just like, you don't want to go down because you will apply the brakes and then you'll just, your car will ski the rest of the way. And if there's a, God help you if there's a car parked at the bottom of that because you will just, zoom. I've never done that, but I'm excessively careful in that spot. And then there's another place where you just, you can't go uphill. So you, 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 go, to, you go to the next block over because if you try to go uphill, it won't happen. Somebody talk to me. Who was it? Was it Jerry Zagoto when we were talking about the Timberwolves? Yes. I don't know if you saw this uh, yesterday. Oh, Kim texted me too, and I missed it. Good deal. We have to miss a couple of games, and we finally get someone to take our tickets to ensure our uh, perfect attendance will remain perfect. You can have other people go for you. As long as your tickets get scanned, they count. Because we need prizes and end-of-the-year gifts for perfect attendance. What was I saying? Story in Yahoo Sports by Adrian Wojnarowski. Wojnarowski. What's his name? Wojo. And it was all about how unhappy Kevin Love was that he wasn't given the max contract and how stupid our front office and team owner are to give him an opt-out after three years of his four-year contract instead of just giving him the five-year max contract. And when I read it, it was like, well, we knew all this months ago when he was offered the contract how unhappy he was. But I guess it was seen as an escalation because it was put out there so that all the people who weren't diehard Timberwolves fans who already knew about this were made aware of it. So now, like, a larger group of the people is aware of the problem, I guess. The problem is that we have the sort of Damocles hanging over us, and then in two years, if things don't get better as in we don't get to the playoffs or get into the playoffs or, well, I don't think we're going to win a ring, but, you know, maybe, I don't know. The Kevin Love will just take off and go to the Clippers or the Lakers or, or the Blazers. As Kevin himself said today, winning will cure everything. So if they just keep winning, it won't be a big deal. The max contract will go to Rubio, as is probably the plan, who knows what these guys are thinking, though, to be honest. The only upside to the Timberwolves doing poorly is it might get us a new general manager. I'd love for Rick Adelman to be our general manager. He happens to be our coach, but he could do both. Or he could step away from the coaching to uh, do the GM stuff. I don't know. I mean... I, David Kahn, I don't hate David Kahn as much as some people, but I understand the hatred. It's now 5.38 p.m. Anyway, tonight, the Nuggets, if it sounds familiar, it's because three weeks ago today, we played the Nuggets. Did we win? 
You can't expect me to remember that back that far, do you? I'm pretty sure we won. Let's see. Wolves, Nuggets, uh, what was it? 11, 21? Give me that box score. No, we lost by 7, 101 to 94. Well, we've got something to prove, man. We're not going to let the Nuggets win on the road anymore. One of the notable things from that game that I do remember is that Costa Kufas, who was a Timberwolf and ended up traded to the Nuggets, uh, there are actually a few ex-Timberwolves on there. Corey Brewer being the one making the biggest splash right now. But, but Costa got a little got a little frisky. And he, he there was a little glares exchange and shoving. and Not too kind to his former friends. And I loved him when the game started. And by the end of the game, man, I hated his guts. Now I'm back to loving him because the passage of time heals all wounds. But... If he tries anything, boy, I, I will. I'll boo the man if I have to. I don't want to, but but I will. How about this shirt, huh? It's awesome. You probably don't know this, but Nikola Pekovic. Well, maybe you do. He has this tattoo on one of his biceps, shoulders. It's massive. We like to say that these these skulls here. The, the soldiers standing over represent uh, fallen opponents, and we give them names. We haven't done too much of that this year because, unfortunately, Pekovic has Peko, is it Pekovic or Pekovic? I've heard both. I like Pekovic. How do you say it in Montenegrin? Well, there is no such language. It's it's Serbian. But what was I saying? When he got hurt, and he was working off, you know, he had the bone spur surgery last year, and then he hurt himself in. I think he's still trying to come back from that. He's not He's not all the way back yet. However, it's been five days since the last game. I think he'll be much better tonight. We got the word that Ricky Rubio was not going to play, so that's sad, but understandable. Uh, again, this is the first of six games over the next eight days, only uh, two of which, one of which I think after this one, there's a game at home on Saturday, and then that's it until next Thursday. So, between here and a week from tomorrow, six games, only two of which are at the Target Center, Saturday's game and next Thursday's game. So, there's four games on the road there, and maybe that's not the best place to, to ease Ricky in. So, maybe even Saturday's not good. Maybe we'll see him next Thursday. Saturday would be awesome, though, but I don't know. Maybe you want to bring him back on Saturday and then kind of ease him in on those road games where maybe the pressure isn't as great. I don't know. I trust Rick Adelman. Rick's going to... Or will Ricky? Will it be Rick or Ricky? We'll get the Ricks together. I have a feeling if it were up to Rubio, he would go ahead and say, I'm ready to play right now. I think he's being held back, though. The announcement today came from the trainers, so... I think Rick's got a hand in it, but I think the trainers are also, they want to see something before it happens. So this is all BS. I have no idea. I'm just making stuff up and pulling it out of my butt. Wow, I have talked a lot about the Timberwolves today. I'm sorry for all of you who hate hearing me talk about the Timberwolves. Don't you wish you liked the team as much as I like the Timberwolves? And the thing is, I like the Packers even more. But I don't talk about them. As nearly as much, do I? On the spot report from Greg, your big storm didn't make it up here to Maine. We got an inch of snow and then a bunch of freezing rain and drizzle that closed schools because the roads got so slippery on Monday. My biggest fear is that there will be a refreeze tonight and there will just be glaze everywhere and it will just be the worst driving conditions ever. I hate that. It may snow again on Saturday. It may freezing rain on Saturday. That would also be awful. So... A little uneasy about Saturday, but Saturday, that's three, four days away. We'll worry about that then. Still a balmy 19 degrees here on Wednesday now. It's like the tropics. Man, you should have been here today, 42. I went out, and I actually saw the sun. It's true. I got out before the sun set because I desperately needed some food. I went to Taco Bell. You know this if you saw me uh, check in on Foursquare. Then you ask yourself, why am I checking that guy out of Foursquare? My time is up. 
We'll let you know how the Timberwolves did tomorrow. Uh, I hope you had a happy 12-12-12. Unfortunately, I did not time it right. 2-2-2 will be tomorrow. But thanks for watching. I'll see you then.